Hello, this is my Controls Lab project. For my Controls Lab project, I built a home security system. Uh, and basically what this system does from a macroscopic perspective is it will detect when the door is open and sound the alarm if the user doesn't input the correct pin within a period of time. And it also sends email notifications to the user's email so that they can be notified of the system status. So next I'm going to talk about each of the components that I used. For the brains of the operation, I used a Raspberry Pi 4. I used three LEDs to indicate the system status at a glance, a red, yellow, and green LED. I used an LCD 16x2 screen to display more detailed information about the current system status. I used a normally closed read switch to detect the status of the door, if you will. Basically, this will detect when the door gets opened. I used an active buzzer to give audible signals to the user and then a membrane keypad to allow the user to communicate with the system. So next I'm going to talk about the read switch briefly because all of the other components are pretty normal hobby level electronics components, but the read switch is a little bit different. So the read switch is made up of two components. There's a magnetic piece and a piece with two wires coming out of it. Basically, when the magnetic piece is beside the piece with the two wires coming out of it, the circuit between those wires is closed, so the, the wires are connected internally. When the magnetic piece gets taken away, the circuit between those two wires is open, so the wires are no longer connected internally. So in the normal state, when they're beside each other, it's closed, i.e. the name normally closed. Now, you can the way that you would normally set this system up is you would stick the piece of the wires to your door frame and the piece of the magnet to your door. So when the door swings open, the circuit would be open and you can detect that. Uh, and the way that I have it set up in this system is that when the circuit is open, it pulls the data pin up to a, a high voltage of five volts. And whenever the circuit is closed, the data pin gets pulled down to zero volts. Um, now, like I said, this is a normally closed read switch. You can also get normally open read switches. And the reason that we use uh, normally closed read switches in a security system is this. Whenever the door gets open with a normally closed read switch, the circuit is open. Well, if somebody cuts the wires on a normally closed read switch, the circuit also gets opened. So either way, if the door gets opened or if somebody cuts the wires, the system is going to know. But if you have a normally open read switch and somebody cuts the wires, it's still just going to read open and the system will not know that anyone has tampered with your system. So the normally closed read switch will prevent people from being able to just cut the wires on your read switch to gain access, basically. Next, I'm going to talk about the different states of the system. This system has four different states. There's a disarmed state, an armed state, a tripped state, and an alarmed state. These LEDs indicate at a glance what the uh, status of the system is. So green is for disarmed, yellow is for armed, Red is for tripped and alarmed. And then the LCD screen will also tell you what the state of the system is, but in plain English. So next I'm going to walk through what each of the different states do and what your different options are within each state. First I'm going to go through the disarmed state. So let me just start the program. So as you can see, the program starts in a disarmed state. You can see it's indicated by the green LED and it says it's disarmed on the screen. So what we can do in this state is two things. We can arm the system, and we can do that by pressing start and ent entering a four-digit pin, or we can turn the system off. And we can do that by, I'll show you, just pressing F4, and then it gives you a prompt asking if we want to turn the system off, and then you just press F4 again to turn it off. And that will actually end the Python code's execution completely. So I'm going to go ahead and run it again. All right, so now we're going to actually arm the system. So you do that by pressing start, and then you enter a four digit pin. You can see there's a prompt that pops up to tell you to do that. So we're gonna do a bunch of ones, but you can actually do any four digit pin. So I'm just gonna do one, 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 one. All right, and it says system armed with, and it shows the pin, and then it switches to armed, which is indicated by, you can see armed on the LCD screen and also yellow as the LED color. So next I'm going to walk through what each of the different options are for the armed state. So in the armed state, there's two different things you can do. You can disarm the system or the system can be tripped by the read switch getting opened and then it will go into the tripped state. So first I'm going to show disarming the system and the way that you do that is you press stop and then you enter the correct pin. So 
You can see it's disarmed. Now I'm, I'm gonna arm it again real quick and I'm gonna do one, 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 two, okay? Now I'm gonna try to disarm it with the ones. Stop, one, 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 one. And you can see it says incorrect pin and it just goes back to being armed. So now I'm gonna correctly disarm it and now it's disarmed. So now that I've shown you that, next I'll talk about the trip state. All right, so like I said, if the system is armed and the read switch gets open, then the system will go into a trip state. So I'm going to arm the system. I'm gonna do a bunch of twos this time, two, 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 two. Now the system is armed and I'm going to open the read switch to simulate the door opening. So, and I will note that when I open the read switch, it will make a short beep with the active buzzer to notify the users that the door has been opened and then you'll have a certain period of time to input the correct pin before the alarm goes off. If the correct pin is input, then it will disarm. If it's not, then the alarm will go off. So I'm going to open the read switch. So you can see system trip input pin. So I'm going to correctly disarm it. And now the system is disarmed. Now I'm going to arm the system again. We're gonna do a bunch of threes this time. Three, 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 three. And then I'm gonna open the read switch again and I'm not going to disarm it. And it takes about 10-ish seconds for this to go. I've got it really short right now, but oh, it should be, there we go, alarm activated. And it will go off for like five seconds and then it will go back to being armed. Uh, I've got all of the waiting periods and the buzzer periods really short right now just for testing purposes, but when I have this thing actually set up, it will be a lot longer. Okay, so I showed you each of the different system states. So lastly, I'm going to talk about the emails. So the user will receive an email for system disarming, system arming, for the read switch being tripped, and for the alarm going off. And each of those emails will have a timestamp. I'm going to bring you over to my email right here. So you can see going from the top down, we've got alarm activated, door open, door open, system arm, system arm, system disarmed, and each one has the time that the action occurred. This way the user will know what's going on with their security system even when they're not at home. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do is just run through the operation of the system one more time. Uh, I know I showed you everything kind of in depth, but it was kind of step by step, so I just wanna go through everything real quick so you can kind of see it in action like it would be in real life. So I'm going to arm the system. So I'm gonna hit start. I'm gonna do four eights this time, eight, 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 eight. Now the system is armed. Then I'm going to disarm it, disarm. So I hit stop, eight, 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 eight. Now the system is disarmed. I'm gonna arm it again. I'm gonna do four sevens, seven, 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 seven. Now I'm going to trip the system and I'm going to disarm it with four sevens. And then one last time, I'm going to arm the system. I'm gonna do nine, 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 nine. Then I'm going to trip it. And I'm going to input eights, just so you can see eight, 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 eight. It reads incorrect pin and the time is still going. So I'm running out of time, uh-oh. And there we go, alarm activated. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this interesting and informative. Have a nice day and stay safe out there.